So first you need uh, a ball bearing slide. This one is uh, 25 centimeters or 10 inch. Uh, first we are going to do is get rid of the inner section, this one. We are cut this one out. Now we can just slide it off. Now what we have left is just a slide. This is where your blade is mounting on later on this tutorial. Now I'm going to drill a small hole right here, uh, about one or two millimeters, and uh, we will attach a spring to it later on. I've drilled uh, two holes in a piece of metal. Uh, the small one is to attach the spring to, and the other one is to attach it to the slider using a rivet. Now I'm going to attach one end of the spring to this hole and the other end to this one. Now we have a good spring system. Now I'm going to drill a hole right here in the corner for a nut and a bolt. You also need to drill another hole at the side, about here, for another spring. As you can see I already have put a nut in. I also made this weird piece. I don't know how to call this. But anyway, you have to put it onto the nut. And this is going to be your unlocking mechanism. So if you pull this, it's going to be unlocked. Now we are going to put another spring on. I'm going to cut out a little bit of this section so the locking mechanism will fit in there I've got uh, this little piece now if we slide it back we can lock it now if you press this one it will unlock and it will slide out I found uh, this picture at the internet. Uh, you can see, you can activate it with a ring attached to a spring. So uh, we are going to do the same. So I've got a little ring and a string. 
one end uh, of the string is attached to the ring and the other end to this mechanism we made earlier so if you pull the string it will unlock I am going to drill another hole in the side for another locking mechanism I've created uh, this little piece and it's going right here on the side so when it slides in it will lock now I can't drill any holes in the side because the balls are sliding right here so uh, I need to solder it on Now when the blade is sliding out, it will lock in here, so it won't go back. If you want to go it back, you can pull this, and it is unlocked, and you can slide the blade back in. I've made uh, 8 brackets, and I'm going to solder them to the side. So you can run your belt through to attach it to your arm. I've soldered the brackets on. Now you can uh, put some belts through it and attach it to your arm. And then attach this to your pink and you're ready to use. I have uh, cut out a blade out of cardboard just to uh, demonstrate. So you can pull this and it goes out 